Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'll be making a summer culotta um, snapper. I'm actually going to fry my snapper and then we're going to make that Ciroc culotta pineapple sauce to go on top. So let's get started. As you can see back here, I took the fillets off my fish. You could do your fish whole or have the butcher do it for you. As you know, I'm holding my phone, so there was no way for me to show that on camera. But I have my pineapple juice right here and my chili garlic and soybean oil here ready to go and my Ciroc. So we're going to work on the sauce. So to my saucepan, I'm going to add my pineapple juice. This sauce is probably gonna take about meh, roughly 30 minutes to complete because we wanna simmer this for at least 30 minutes. Then you're gonna take your chili oil and put it down in there. If you don't have this chili oil, guys, you can use sriracha. It's, you know, let's not make a big deal here. Use sriracha or you could chop up some, you know, jalapenos, habaneros, or, you know, or to avoid it, period, if you don't like heat, you can use a sweet chili sauce, which is also pretty, you know, actually could be better in this recipe. So, you know, use what you have and what you have access to. Then you're gonna take the Ciroc, and you're gonna pour some in there, not too much, guys. We're not trying to get drunk, it is gonna cook off, but it will leave a delicious flavor behind. You will not get drunk eating this recipe. All right guys, so I'm gonna season one of my fillets and let you guys see what I'm doing. All you're doing on here is just regular salt and pepper. And I'm using kosher salt and some fresh thyme. That's all you're gonna put on your fish. The sauce is delicious on its own, plus we're frying this fish. You don't wanna put anything on here that's going to burn in your oil. You're also gonna go in here with some pepper. Y'all know I love my pepper. And that's pretty much it. Preheat your skillet with whatever oil you prefer, and we're gonna fry these up. All right, so you're gonna fry your fish up on both sides until it's golden brown. Remove them and drain them, and then we're going to finish off our sauce. Okay, so my sauce has been simmering for about 25 minutes now. As you can see, it got real syrupy. That's what you want. I'm gonna let it keep going for like another two minutes. And that's pretty much it. I added some fresh thyme in here and some salt and pepper. Make sure you taste your sauce. All ingredients for this sauce will be listed below if I missed anything. So always check my description box. All right, so when your sauce gets to this stage, you see how it looks like caramel, like it's really, really foamy? You're gonna turn your stove off. I just turned my stove off. And then you're gonna add a tablespoon of butter down in here. Mix it in, remove the sauce from the stove, and then I'm gonna plate everything up and let you guys see what it looks like. This sauce is so good, guys. And only a few ingredients, not too much of a hassle. And that's it, it's done. The butter is for flavor and shine. You want a shiny sauce. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. All I did was some basic grits. You know, you can make your own grits, homemade from the package, and that's what's on the bottom underneath my snapper. Then I poured the sauce over the top, and then I sprinkled on some pomegranate granites for color and crunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, it's pretty simple and easy. Remember to always check my description box, and I'll see you guys next time on video number five. Bye, guys.